All right, it's never a dull moment when our friends from the Imagination Station are here, and let's see what we have in store for today. Amy Crest is here with some fun stuff that we could be getting into. Amy, welcome and good morning. Thank you. Good morning to you. So what do we have? Um, Something well, cold. Right. Very, very cold stuff here. We have some dry ice, okay? And dry ice... Like you said, it's cold. It's 109 degrees below zero. Okay. So that's why we're using our safety gear today. Absolutely. Right? Okay. So the cool thing about dry ice is that it's a solid form of carbon dioxide, right? We find carbon dioxide gas in the air. We breathe it we out. We exhale it. Absolutely. So, yeah, this is the solid form of it. And dry ice actually never gets wet. Okay. That's why we call it dry ice. So like normal ice that goes through the solid liquid mm -hmm. gas stage, this one goes straight from a solid to a gas. It's called sublimation. Okay. Okay. So Chris, let's take a piece or take a look at a piece of our dry ice here. Can you see that carbon dioxide coming off? Uh, I see the what is it? What is actually escaping? A vapor? Right. Yeah. It's kind of a it's kind of a trick here. We can see a little bit of a cloud-like sub substance coming off. That's not the carbon dioxide gas. That actually is sort of a cloud. Okay. Um, so the water vapor around the carbon dioxide is getting so cold that it's um, condensing down into a, yeah, a okay. cloud just like that. All right, so what do we need to do today to get this science experiment rocking? Okay, well first we're gonna see what happens when we add some of this carbon dioxide or this dry ice into water. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and drop that in there. Tell me what you see. Go ahead. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Bubbly. I like it. Bubbly, exactly. So it's releasing that carbon dioxide gas, creating bubbles, and it's also building up something called carbonic acid. Okay. okay. Now, carbonic acid we can find in something we probably drink every day. What do you think that is? Uh, soda pop. Yeah, soda. Depending on where you're from. Right. <laughs> okay. We're not going to get into that whole one. I right. call it pop. Carbonated beverages, carbonated water, stuff like that. Exactly. So, Chris, what I have here is a little bit of water. I'm going to drop some dry ice in. And I want you to get your tongue nice and wet. Oop. And you are going to stick your tongue out and tell me what this tastes like, OK? We're going to have the, there we go, build up of that carbonic acid. It's going to come shooting out of the side there. OK. So what do you think? Isn't it kind of like a bitter, that bitter aftertaste kind of that you get after drinking? something carbonated. A little bit, yeah. Right. So I can't that, quite put my finger or tongue <laughs> on it, but yeah. Right. So that is the buildup of that carbonic acid coming out. Now what we have here is um, some water, if you want to slide that over here. Okay. Okay. And it, it's pink, right? So it has an acid base indicator in it called phenothylene. Okay. Okay. And phenothylene turns this pinkish color when it's basic or when it's alkaline. So I want you to go ahead and drop a couple pieces here of our dry ice in, and we're gonna see what happens to this water. Do we still need this one going here? No, you can, yeah, you okay. can get that, that one's side over there. Keep spitting out, <laughs> all right. Okay, so go ahead, we're gonna watch it. So it's bubbling just like the other one, and what's happening is as it creates that carbonic acid, it's dropping the pH level. Okay. So as the pH level drops, it gets to around pH eight, you can see it turned right from pink to clear. Very okay, cool. so that indicates that there's an acid buildup in there from that carbonic acid. Okay. So that's one indicator. What if we added a whole bunch of indicators together so we don't get just one color change, but we get multiple colors? I think okay. I'm all for it. Okay, so let's try this out. Right here we have a universal indicator. Okay, so it's like the phenothylene. But all different types of things inside it. Right. Okay. So it's a whole bunch of indicators mixed together, okay? So I'm gonna have you go ahead and drop that first piece in. Okay. So we're gonna look really closely. So remember that carbonic acid is being released from our dry ice. Okay. And the more acid that builds up inside there, the lower the pH is gonna get. Yep, but we're gonna keep adding it. So we can see it's a nice dark purple color right now. Right. I think it's kinda cool. You can see the cloud on the top too. I'm thinking it's like, uh, I'm thinking, you know, in the, in the theme of Halloween, it's like spooky science here too. Right. It's, like a, it's like a mad scientist laboratory. Right, exactly. You can, uh, yeah, go ahead one? and add another one. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna speed this All up. Right, okay, now, so there it goes. So it's purple, blue, there it's heading goes, to yeah. green now. Are we removing those indicators Yellow. one by one? Is that what we're doing? Um, well, what we're doing is as we put the indicator in there, we raise the pH level to probably around 13 or so. Okay. And the more dry ice we put in, um, the more acid builds up. So as the acid builds up and causes the pH level to drop, it goes through different colors like that to indicate what the pH level is. Awesome. And this is something scientists use every day to try to find out what's the pH. A little bit of science right in your living room. And you guys are, of course, always busy at the Imagination Station. Yes. Speaking of spooky science, what do you guys have coming up? Um, spooky science. 
is this weekend and next weekend, all kinds of experiments like this and a lot more. And you can actually try this at home if you want to get dry ice. We get ours from Carbonic Enterprises, um, but you can also get it at a few other places if you want to have that spooky kind of science thing at Halloween, but you know, always being safe too. I like so. it. Sounds good. Amy, thank you so much for your time. Fun and exciting experiment. And of course, you can always check it out at the Imagination Station. All right.